Hey folks, here we have a Panasonic Tau TV from the mid-2000s. So, long story short, was looking on Facebook Marketplace and saw this pop up. A uh, guy just wanted to get rid of it because, as I learned from him, it's actually a little bit harder to uh, get rid of CRTs in Pennsylvania and Connecticut specifically if you take them to Best Buy or something. I didn't know that. So, that's why TVs like this end up you know, on eBay and Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist and, you know, everywhere else on the internet. So, this guy just wanted to clean out his basement. I went to his house, took the TV off his hands, and here it is. I have not tested it yet, I've not turned it on. All I have did was wipe off some of the absolutely disgusting grime on the screen. It, uh, in the original pictures of it, which I'll show here, you'll see there's this nasty film and grime on the screen. And while I'm here, I'll also show you the uh, ports and I.O. and the sticker on the back and all that stuff. It has quite a few, uh, has quite a few inputs. Uh, this is definitely a convenient TV. It, it beats having to hook up a separate switch box like I do for with my Trinitron back there. You can see the switch box just underneath there. Have to use it with that even though it has multiple inputs, but uh, I digress. Got this, just the TV. It did not have the remote with it. Uh, I found what I think is the correct remote on eBay, so if this TV works, I'll get the remote for it. Looking on Reddit, these TVs have a pretty darn good picture. Uh, you know, right up there with um, right up there with the Trinitrons of the day and the and things like that. This is not an HD ready set. It is SD only, but since it has component on the back, I would assume that it'll at least do 480i, uh, which would be ideal on something like this. And to be honest, HD on a 20 inch set is just kind of silly anyway. It's a small TV, like, here's a remote. It's not a very big set, so not a big viewable area. Uh, in addition to those ports, uh, you saw before it has the uh, it has a headphone jack and it has an input on the front as everybody remembers from back in the day you plug your games into that and you'd play them now the port on the back the uh, the audio out port I thought was kinda unique that's actually great you can just plug that into a stereo and off you go so this TV it's 2005 so it's a it's about 17 years old. Man, 2005 is a long time ago. I was a freshman in high school back then listening to Gorilla's Demon Days uh, CD. What were you doing back then? <laughs> uh, anyhow, this TV I thought we'd test together. Uh, I don't have much to say about it other than these are supposed to be nice, so I figure why don't we just check to see if it works. Hey, that picture's pretty good. Very sharp. This tube is pretty bright. It doesn't look like it's worn out or anything like that. Can I control the menus from down here? Yes, I can. Uh, press action button to exit. Oh, yes. There we go. That's a nice white picture. Um, looks like it's a little blurry on this side. I don't know if you can see that. It appears to be slightly blurry there, so this might need some adjustment. Or an or a, another type of degaussing or something. I think it'll look different. I think the the I want to see what it looks like with a picture on it, and I have just the thing for that. I have a, an old Roku that has uh, AV, so we'll plug that in and we'll check it out. So let me put this on video three, I guess. Video three. All right, let me plug the Roku in real quick. Hey, look at that picture looks pretty good. Final updates? What does that mean? Does that mean this is the final update for this particular Roku? That would be a shame because I really like using these on older sets. Well, these Rokus are getting old. They're from like 2017 or 18, so who knows how long they're going to be supported for. Yeah, that all appears to work fine. It looks like it might have some pin cushion issues on this side, so I might need to adjust that. So I might have to get a remote to adjust that. Yeah, it might have some pin cushion issues, but I think that could probably be adjusted out. 
That's a lot of overscan. Hmm, I don't know about that. Well, the internet loves cats, so I'm going to have to turn this down because I had music in it. But let's see how a video looks on it. A 4x3 one at that. Oh, you can do it. Meow. <laughs> Did the app just crash? Nope, it's just buffering. There you go, look at the kitty. This TV looks good. Sharp picture, good color. Could use a little adjustment, I think, based on what we saw over here. So once I get the remote for this thing, we can uh, dial in the pin cushion a little bit, I think. Look at the kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Wish I could play the sound, but it's all just music, so a little bit hard to make that a thing. Yeah, there you go. Let's try this collection of 2000s commercials. Hopefully it's like the right resolution for this TV. Uh, not really. Nope. Never mind. Let's do a Magnavox commercial. See what the sound is like. Excuse me. Can I help you? I'm not sure. I'm looking for the perfect TV. A 27-inch with black matrix, 110-degree angle of deflection, computer accurate digital access tuning, 178 channels, built-in stereo decoder, and it's got to have infrared remote control that runs the TV, cable, and VCR, even if they're different brands. You know what I mean? I know exactly what you mean. You want a Magnavox, the perfect picture, the perfect remote. Nobody puts it together like Magnavox. Now, this is a Panasonic, so it's better anyway. <laughs> but yeah, that's a few clips of uh, what this TV can do. Not a bad little set. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get the remote for it now that I know that it works fine. Uh, it looks like it needs some adjustment to me, especially when you go back to the Roku menu here. It, things just look a little bit off, like not so much that it's a real issue, but I, I think it needs uh, I think it needs some pin cushion tweaks, and it'll probably be all right. Like you notice on the edge of the plex here, there's all this like haloing crap going on. Yeah, it it needs some adjustment, but so it's it's been used over the years. But I think it'll make a good TV. Certainly an upgrade from that Symphonic that I've had for so long now. Um, the one thing I'm noticing too is the convergence looks kind of crappy over here. You know, look at the text there. Convergence is a little off, so I think once I get the remote, I can adjust that probably through the menus or something. So, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I. Maybe I don't have to do this. Let's try picture. Picture. Are there other adjustments like pin cushion? Oh, maybe I need to adjust it on the inside. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Picture mode is vivid right now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wait, why is the action button acting as cancel? What the hell? Ah, uh, controlling this with the remote is horrible. Okay, let's see how this changes the color around a little bit. Standard cinema. Vivid, vivid looks unnatural to me. I'm going to put it on standard. Yeah, so maybe the color will actually be a little bit more balanced now because of that. Now, why is the picture all the way up? That's weird. Interesting. 
so with the picture down, the tube's kind of dark. Man, maybe this thing is worn out. Look at that. Look at that. The geometry changes. Interesting. Okay, so everything's in the middle now. What if I move down to normal? Oh, that is the default settings. Interesting. All right. Oh, I figured out how to do that. That's cool. wonder how you adjust pin cushion and all that stuff. <laughs> you can have an auto power on. All right. Whoops. All right, well, there you have it. Maybe adjusting this, I have, maybe I have to open the setup to adjust it. Maybe, maybe we'll do that sometime. Not sure I want to bother with that right now, but hey, it works. It works. So, there you have it. Pretty good find. Hopefully it just needs a little bit of tweaking to get it to uh, not be so... Uh, you know, weird up in the corner there. Well, in any case, there you have it. That is the Panasonic Tau, whatever the model number is. It's in the title of the video. Hope you enjoyed checking out this uh, find I got, and more to come later. If you'd like to reach me on social media, my links are down below, and if you'd like to join our Discord chat, that link is down below as well. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.